Hey, Jojo Williams here out of Santa Cruz, California, and I'm cutting this video while doing this periscope. I've got my little thing set up here. You see that? So I'm doing both at the same time, so if I don't make eye contact with the camera the whole time, you know why. But I am teaching something on Periscope, and I wanted to make sure that I capture it in video for later, because I haven't figured out how to, how to do all that yet. So anyways, hi Periscope. So I wanted to talk to you guys today about what it really takes to win, because often when you join um, the industry of network marketing, multi-level marketing, you're not really told the truth about this. And in any area of life, I don't care if it's marriage, raising children, um, whatever the circumstances are, whatever it is that you want to be successful at, um, whatever goals that you've set in your life, whatever thing you want to do, this really applies to all of it. I'm getting deeper and deeper into my second time of reading uh, Think and Grow Rich. Actually, the first time I read The Law of Success, um, a much more in-depth, harder read than the new revised version of Think and Grow Rich. So let's talk about it. Let's talk about what it really takes to win. You have to be willing to lose. You have to seriously be willing to lose. If you're not willing to lose, you're not going to win. There's no such thing as winning without failure. It's not possible. And if every time you reach a perceived failure in your life, you quit, you move on, you start over, you say this isn't working, you will never win. It's just the way it goes. It's the way it goes. you got to be willing to lose. Let me tell you all a little story. You know, early on in my career, if you guys, any of you who followed my blog, onelovejourney.com, the number one, knows this story, knows that for the first year of that journey, I had literally gotten rid of everything I owned and decided to walk this humbler path. And really, I, I, you know, it was, I had come to a crashing point in my life. Anyways, I spent that first year getting towed around from park to park and saw in the stories of my blog um, by complete strangers. I didn't have a truck of my own. And one of my nephew's friends, freaking awesome, just totally gifted me money to go buy a truck and I found this killer truck it was a 1986 Scottsdale limited edition um, with 36,000 original miles on it man this Suburban was a beast oh man it towed my RV like nothing the RV I had at the time before I was able to donate it to some homeless kids um, was 7,000 pounds empty. Okay, so it was a major deal towing that thing. And that truck towed it everywhere, all over the place. Well, early on in my career, um, I was really struggling, really, really struggling as many of us do. And because I was, I didn't have any income other than social security disability. I mean, I was living off 800 bucks a month and often park rents were over half of that, sometimes more. So I decided like I've got to do something. I've got to take this seriously and I wanted to travel around the country and really build my business, spread the word of my message um, countrywide. So I sold my truck. I sold my truck so that I could afford to do so when I needed to buy a laptop because my computer had crashed and I was like, oh man, I can't, can't build an online business without a computer, right? So I sold my truck and I used that money very wisely to cover my travels, to pay for my train trips and I documented it as I went. Man. And so it made it an adventure and I would stay at reps houses 28 days at a time on my team and help them build their business locally in their area so I did this for a year traveling around spreading the message selling that truck was really really hard for me to do but the truth of the matter was that I was so strong in my conviction to win that I was willing to lose it all willing to lose it all. And you know, I really think about that. I think about the material possessions and our, our attachment to the identity that we think those things mean for us, right? Man, cars can be replaced. Houses can be replaced. Everything can be replaced except for our sense of living life, right? I, I don't think when we die, we're going to go, man, I wish I had kept that Scottsdale 1986 Suburban. And man, let me tell you, I loved that truck. It was a beast. Um, but the reality of it is, is that it's a truck. It's a material possession. And so I was willing to give that up. How willing are you? How willing are you to win? I mean, are you all in? Whatever it is you're doing, whatever you're doing, are you all in? You know, if it's your marriage, man, are you all in? Are you willing to weather every storm? Are you willing to compromise? If it's your network marketing business, are you all in? Or when it comes time to rebuild, are you giving up? Are you quitting? Are you jumping ship? Are you, you know what I mean? Whatever it is, you've got to be willing to lose to win. When I say rebuild what I'm talking about, because this happens in all of our careers. People are going to join you. People are going to leave. It's the way it goes. And if you don't continue to build, then when those people leave, it hurts more. 
It's going to hurt either way, especially when it's people that you trust. Because I'm going to tell you what, I don't care who they are. They're going to try to recruit people that they didn't meet any other way than being on your team. Because people, some people are just shady like that. They don't care. They're so desperate to succeed, to get some evidence that they can succeed, that they're going to try to take that easy way out, you know. And and they'll learn something about that in life. We all do. We learn it from our mistakes. You know what I mean? I made mistakes. I made mistakes early on in my career. So no value judgment here. But when that happens, are you willing to stay committed? Are you loyal to your dreams, to your team? Are you? Because if you're not willing to lose, you will never win. I'm sorry. It's the way that it goes in any area of life, but especially in business. If you want to be an entrepreneur, you want to work for yourself, you want to make amazing thing happen. You want to be one of those multiple seven-figure earners. You want to have that massive success story. What do you really think it takes to get there? Are you treating this like a lottery ticket where you hope the right deal comes along and all of a sudden, boom, you're rich? It doesn't work that way. It takes hard work. It takes totally getting outside of your comfort zone and becoming somebody different tomorrow than you are today. And how do we become that somebody different tomorrow? By losing. It's the failures. It's the losses. It's the losing that be, makes us a winner. And if we can successfully move through those phases of the relationships and, and goals and dreams in our life, we earn the right to win. We earn it. You can be that loyal and committed to yourself. You can be that loyal and committed to others. Are you that loyal and committed? It's a good question. All right. Well, I'm going to go out and do some public prospecting. Super stoked. Amazing day. Three more sleeps until Orlando. I love you guys so much. And uh, take a look. Take a look in the mirror and ask myself, am I willing to lose to win? Because if the answer isn't yes, you got a ways to go, baby. A longer, lo a longer road than it would have been. So I will talk to you guys later. Have an amazing day. Bye, guys.